Hello, I'm Rick Schwartz. I breed bunnies so that we can have them for dinner. It's known as meat rabbits and one of the problems with meat rabbits that a lot of people face is how to dispatch them or kill them when it's time for them to go into the freezer or onto the stovetop. I've developed a way that I think is very humane. It works exceedingly well and it has many benefits over the traditional ways. One of the problems with raising meat rabbits is eventually you have to dispatch them or otherwise kill them. For many people this is a problem because it's hard to do properly at times, especially as you get older and your hands get arthritic and, and lose some of the strength. The traditional way it goes back thousands of years as long as people have been eating bunnies is to grab them behind the head at the neck and the hind legs and pull and twist. Uh, this technique works well but it is a technique that you have to learn and it, it takes time to learn it and you have to go through a lot of bunnies and you have to have fairly strong hands to do it. Another way, traditional way, is just to hit the bunny in the back of the head with the club as you're holding the hind legs. The problem with this is, of course, you have to hit the bunny in exactly the right spot or else you have a really ticked off bunny who's screaming and your neighbors are probably calling because they think you, you, you have a serial killer in your home. Uh, the other is, if you miss the bunny's head and you hit your hand, uh, you're liable to walk around in a cast for the next couple of days. Uh, it, cutting the bunny's head off is also a very traditional way. The problem is if you screw that up, you walk like this for the rest of your life. Uh, and so that you have to be real careful with that. Uh, technology marches on. Some people use BB guns or, or 22 handguns or even 22 rifles to put a bullet or a BB into the base of the skull right behind the ears. Very effective method, uh, but you have to pay to have a gun if you don't have one. And some people just have a problem with the shooting the rabbit. Uh, the broomstick method is very popular. A lot of people like that. I find it awkward. You lay the bunny on the ground, you put a broomstick or other object over the back of their neck, you step on it, you step on the other side, you pull the bunny up from the hind legs. You have to do all this in a coordinated fashion and again if you don't do it right you have an, an upset bunny who's screaming its head off and you have to do it again. Well, because all these methods really have flaws in it, I decided to come up uh, with, with my own method, which I call the Schwartz Bunny Whacker. It's made out of a couple of scraps of wood and uh, cost me 75 cents for a bolt at the uh, local hardware store. My friend Stefan actually built it for me. I don't want to take credit for that, but he built it according to my plans. Uh, I'm going to walk you through the Bunny Whacker, show you how you can build your own, show you how it works, show you how it works with a live bunny rabbit, although I'm not going to actually dispatch the bunny rabbit. I'm just going to show you how it would work. And it, 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 if you want to build your own, it was very, very simple. It took us about 15 minutes of actual work to build it. Uh, it took an hour and a half of time to, from beginning to end, mostly because we were goofing around a lot and couldn't find some of the tools that we needed. But actual labor was only about 15 minutes. And the only specialized tool that we really needed was a drill press. It's critically important that the hole that goes through the support and the blade all line up properly and, and are completely horizontal. If you don't have that, then you're going to have a problem later on. But right now, let's take a look at the Bunny Whacker, how it works. And after that, again, I'll show you how it works with a live bunny. This is the Schwartz Bunny Whacker. It's not much, but it's mine. Uh, I, if you build your own, I would prefer you to call it the Schwartz Bunny Whacker when you refer to it, uh, so that I can leave a legacy behind, if for nothing else, uh, as a better way to dispatch of bunnies. Uh, it's sitting on a, uh, uh, a TV tray, TV table. This is not a good idea. This is for demo purposes only. In actual use, you need a nice dirty table to put this on, something that's going to hold it. It generates a tremendous amount of pressure and you don't want to have it on, on something that's going to fall or tip over like this. This is what the Bunny Whacker looks like. It's got a base. It's got two blocks of wood here. It's got a bolt through the two blocks of wood and this bolt holds 
a blade on it that goes up like this. Now, we did something special with the blade. You may be able to see here, we shaved off an edge along here so that this comes to a, a, a much finer edge than the standard edge here. The reason why we did that is this concentrates much more force along this edge and it avoids bruising the bunny rabbit's uh, shoulders, which has a lot of good meat in it. it. You can see here that it's offset here. I did that just to give the bunny rabbit more room on this side. You can make this base as big as you want, as long as it's big enough to hold the bunny rabbit on. Now, the blade here, if uh, my camera person, who, by the way, is my lovely wife of 40 years, Joan, she, uh, she's my helper, uh, you can see the blade extends past the base. The reason for that is because using it with your hand here and coming down, now my hand, my left hand is going to substitute for the bunny rabbit's head for the moment, it generates a tremendous amount of force, an unbelievable amount of force right in this area of the bunny whacker here. So you, we're going to slide the bunny rabbit set in here and just bring this blade down. You don't have to bring it down hard, you just have to bring it down forcefully and it will uh, snap the bunny's neck immediately, uh, killing the bunny rabbit. Uh, the blade here is made out of oak. You can make it out of pine. Pine is going to be a lot lighter uh, and it may not work as well, I, I don't know. There's also a tremendous amount of force here on these blocks. So these are oak also. Again, you can use pine. You can saw off the edges of a 2x4 or the ends of a 2x4 and use it here. Uh, but whatever you do, make sure that they're secure in the base here because uh, it, you can see here there's a crack in here. I, I was testing it out and it just snapped that base in half. Uh, with no problem at all because I, I didn't have it down. Now, again, I, I just have it on the TV table here uh, just as a place to put it to show you. Make sure you have it secured. If necessary, if your rabbits are big enough, you may even have to clamp this down to the edge of the table. Use a clamp and clamp the back end down so that when you push down here, this back end doesn't rise up. Uh, I use smaller rabbits, so I'm not going to have that problem. But right now, let's uh, grab one of our volunteer bunnies, and I'll show you how he fits in and how the bunny whacker works. Uh, again, we're not going to actually dispatch the bunny right now, so if you're a little bit squeamish, you don't have to worry about seeing that. Here's our volunteer, one of my beautiful little broken bunnies. I raise mini satins, which are a, a little bit smaller. He's a little over three pounds. If you're raising Californians or, or New Zealands, uh, they're going to be bigger. Uh, this should be about the same size. You might want to make the base a little bit broader so that the bunny can fit on it more comfortably. But my, my little uh, mini satin fits just fine on it. And we're going to show you how, how it works. Now, you want, always want the bunny uh, comfortable and, and relaxed in doing this. Uh, well, turn around, bunny. Let's see how comfortable you can get. And all you do is put the bunny on here. And you don't want him too close to the blocks of wood because then the blade's laying on the side of his neck. So you want him a, 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 about here, and, and you have to judge your bunnies accordingly. And you, uh, you, you bring him forward a little bit. He doesn't want to go forward. That's because it, 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 partially because of the unwieldy table here. There's not enough room here, and he knows that. It, it, it's a little high for him. But bring him forward. Get his ears forward. Let me stand up. Uh, you might want to back up a little bit, John, so that people, I don't disappear. Bring this forward just like this, right under his ears, so that it, it's at the base of his brain. And then, if I were to do this for real, 
all I would do is just bring this board down in a sharp fashion. That's going to break his neck, if you can see right in here. That's going to break his neck right past his ears, right at the base of his brain, bringing an instantaneous death. Uh, he, he, he will have a very humane dispatch, and then at that point, we can dress, uh, we can dress our bunny out, and finish dressing him out, and, uh, and make him ready for freezer camp. This is the, uh, the Schwartz Bunny Whacker. It works wonderfully. It's a humane way of, of taking care of your bunnies. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, it beats all the other methods. It's made out of scrap wood. Uh, it cost me 75 cents to do. Uh, I, I think it might be something that, uh, that you can consider and give a try for yourself if, if it's uh, uh, appealing to you. Thank you very much.